Hey, what is up guys? This is Aaron and in this video we're going to be going over some of my favorite free open source apps um, for the Mac. Now I'm purposely uh, saying free open source because while some apps that are great are free, uh, they're not open source. So this video is going to be tackling uh, only the open source apps. Now if you want to know what the difference is between open source and free, I'll uh, leave a link in the description so you can read up about that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the first app is going to be the very known VLC. Uh, VLC is an app that whenever I get a new computer, a new phone, or a new uh, anything, I just uh, go to the Video Land website, download VLC. It is a beast of a uh, video player. Uh, it plays basically any file, uh, even corrupted files that uh, QuickTime player or any other built-in player on any machine can't play VLC will uh, you know play that without any problem the next step on this list is going to be transmission transmission is a uh, an open source very small very minimal torrent uh, downloader um, you know it'll allow you to download torrents uh, in a very very slim minimalistic form factor um, I'm not going to, you know, show you any torrents because I don't, I'm not downloading them right now. Um, torrents should be uh, used to only download uh, software that you have the right to download or videos or pictures that you have the right to download and not anything uh, illegal like that. So that is Transmission. The next app after that is actually in my doc. It's called Brackets. Brackets is an open source um, text editor for Mac. Um, it'll allow you to write code, write text, build apps, build websites, basically do whatever you need to do in a text editor if you're into programming. Um, so I haven't uh, done any projects on this right yet, but I will definitely uh, get started doing that soon. A cool thing about this app is that um, you can actually press this button and it'll show you, give you live feedback. Uh, on what you're coding. So for example, it says getting started with brackets here. I can go ahead and uh, change that to, uh, I'm just going to write here 678 and then we will uh, click here and it'll give you a preview of, hmm, you can see the text didn't save there. I guess, well, you can't save the text there. Um, you know what? Oh, you can watch. Here, so let's save that. And now when we open this preview, we will see those edits that I did. So I apologize about that, but that is Brackets. Pretty cool app, uh, and it is, like I said, open source. The next app after that is going to be VirtualBox. VirtualBox is one of those apps that you'll only use it if you need it. Um, but basically, this is a free open source app that allows you to run any sort of virtual machine uh, that you would like on your Mac. Now, as we know, the Macs do support um, dual booting, so you can boot an extra operating system in, uh, you know, in, in boot camp. Um, but this app allows you to kind of run them while your regular machine is turned on, so you can do whatever you want. It's kind of like VMware, but this is completely open source and free, uh, and that's why I like VirtualBox. The next app I'm going to show you guys is Handbrake. Now, Handbrake is a must-have for anyone that has anything to do with video uh, editing and exporting, all that stuff. Basically, what it'll do is it will uh, compress any sort of video uh, that's heavy into a much smaller, uh, less weight video. So if I'm uh, making like a screen recording or filming a video or anything like that, and the file is very heavy, I can just throw it into here, choose the format, uh, and then press start, and it'll go ahead and encode that and uh, and compress it to a much smaller file without losing uh, barely any quality. Uh, and the last step I was kind of debating if I should bring up because it's just a very known uh, app, and it is going to be Firefox. Firefox, if you don't know what it is already, is a browser, but it's an open source browser, so it's free and it doesn't track you or you know do anything that 
Google would do or Facebook or all that stuff. Um, so it's, you know, it's just one of those apps that you got to have if you're doing anything and then you want to open it in a different browser and you don't want to like clear your cookies, do anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's Firefox. Those are my picks for the best open source apps. If you guys have any uh, suggestions or, or you guys have any open source apps that uh, you have and you like, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, if I check them out and, and like them, I will uh, you know mention your name in a video I make about it. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye now, everyone.